Good morning. It is a thankful Thursday, and today is February 10th, and today's walk with God is righteous hunger. Listen to that, righteous hunger. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 3. And remember all the remarks that are coming at me, and some say to ignore them, but God's not telling me to ignore that. We are, in a sense, defined by our hunger. Think about it. Our cravings are deceptive, to a large degree, of the spirit within us. Our personality, our preferences, our problems are all revealed in and through the things we strive for. God's word affirms this. It often defines us by our hunger. Jesus said those who hunger and thirst for righteousness would be filled. Matthew chapter 5 verse 6. They are his. It pleases him when we crave his righteousness and seek it as a treasure. He delights in that desire. And when we have it, he never mentions our sin. It no longer defines us. He mentions only our future, the fullness we will receive from him. The craving by his description is who we are. This is why Proverbs can tell us that the righteous will not go hungry. The righteous will not go hungry because they hunger for righteousness. God gives such treasures to all who seek them. The wicked, however, crave wickedness. If they are filled, it will only be for a moment. It will not last. God promises daily bread to those who trust him for it with a right spirit. This verse affirms that, but it goes far beyond food. It describes matters of the heart, not matters of the stomach. The heart that is fixed on God will find itself in sync with the purpose of creation itself. The heart that has more inclination toward wickedness than toward God will find itself horribly, horribly, excuse me, out of step with the rest of the universe. This is truth. Does contentment elude you? Check your desires. They are an accurate description of who you are and the kingdom you'd rather live in. What do you hunger for? If your cravings lead you to God, you will never go hungry. If they do not, you will always, you always will. God's kingdom is always about righteousness. Never forget that and be filled. Man finds it hard to get what he wants because he does not want the best. Stay focused on the cross of Christ and keep God first.